Imagine flying a fighter jet where you're no longer alone in the sky. Every radar, every sensor, every friendly aircraft is quietly feeding you the same picture in real time. No radio chatter, no delays, no guesswork. Now imagine that capability being unlocked for Pakistan Air Force's F-16s. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a shift in how air wars are fought. In the next few minutes, you'll see how a hidden NATO technology turns individual jets into a single thinking force, and why adversaries care far more about this than new missiles or new aircraft. Stay with me. The total estimated cost of this sale is $686 million, with major defense equipment, including the Link 16 systems, valued at $37 million. Lockheed Martin is the principal contractor for this sale. While Link 16 is a robust system, it is an older generation technology compared to Link 22, which offers superior anti-jamming capabilities, higher throughput, and beyond line-of-sight connectivity. The US's decision to provide Link 16 rather than Link 22 to Pakistan is seen as a deliberate choice to enhance interoperability for counterterrorism missions without granting access to the most advanced networking reserved for its closest allies. Benefits of Link 16 Technology Link 16 is that nervous system, a secure jam-resistant tactical data link used by NATO and US forces to exchange near-real-time positions, tracks, target assignments, text, and even limited imagery and voice across air, sea, and ground platforms. Technically, it is a time-division multiple-access waveform operating in the 960 to 1215 MHz band, carrying J-series messages that encode locations, track IDs, commands, and status. The waveform's frequency hopping, encryption, and standardized message structure are what make allied aircraft talk the same language in contested environments. So, what changes for Pakistan if its F-16s receive Link-16 terminals and the associated integration package? First, situational awareness, the single biggest multiplier, improves dramatically. F-16 cockpits will start to show a common tactical picture that includes tracks from Pakistan Air Force radars, airborne early warning assets, and when interoperable, allied platforms. In practice, that means a wing of three fighters could see and prosecute targets well beyond each jet's radar horizon, handing off fire control to the jet best place to deliver the weapon while other jets maintain cover or suppress threats. The net effect is forcing multiplication. The same number of aircraft can control a larger volume of airspace with far lower risk. The upgrade package aims to modernize and sustain Pakistan's existing F-16 fleet, including Block 52 and midlife upgrade variants, keeping them operationally effective until at least 2040. Second, the practical combat tactics change. With Link 16, Pakistan Air Force mission planners can execute coordinated beyond visual range engagements with distributed targeting, simultaneous attacks where sensors and shooters are not co-located. That complicates an adversary's defensive picture. They can no longer safely assume that weapons will only be launched from within a target's immediate radar contact. Link-enabled F-16S can also perform collaborative electronic support. One aircraft can act as an emitter locator or datalink node, queuing others to threats and enabling more precise suppression of enemy air defenses. The net increases survivability for strike packages and better protection for high-value assets. Third, Interoperability and peacetime benefits matter politically and operationally. Exercises and combined training become richer when participants use the same tactical data language. That means PAF squadrons training with US or other coalition units can practice more realistic, high-tempo missions. An advantage that compounds over the years as doctrine, tactics, and software maturity improve. It also opens up options for coalition logistics, force tracking, and airspace deconfliction during crises, giving Pakistan more flexible choices in how it manages regional contingencies. That said, the introduction of Link 16 is not a magic wand. The system requires careful network management. Slot scheduling, cryptographic keying, and network participation group design are technical and procedural tasks that must be mastered. Secure key management and export controls historically limit the most sensitive waveform and encryption capabilities to trusted partners, 
full, seamless integration into allied high-security networks and future waveforms like Link-22 is often constrained by policy and technical safeguards. Practically, this means Pakistan will receive specific hardware and software configured under U.S. oversight, and operational employment will need strong doctrine and training to avoid network congestion, misqueuing, or security lapses. In short, the technology is potent, but only as good as the people, processes, and policies that run it. Operationally in the near term, expect incremental but visible changes. Air defense reaction times shrink, coordinated CAP combat air patrol, coverage becomes more efficient, and mixed formations of F-16S with other PAF platforms, and potentially friendly coalition assets, can prosecute multi-axis attacks with higher confidence. In the midterm, as ground-based sensors, AWACS-like platforms, and even naval assets are tied into the same tactical picture. Pakistan's ability to compress the sensor-to-shooter timeline will increase, making its air defenses and strike packages meaningfully harder to defeat. The strategic implication is clear. Link-16 doesn't give raw stealth or more missiles, but it amplifies the combat value of every sensor and weapon already in service. Finally, the soft but lasting effects are doctrine, training, and deterrence. Link-enabled forces operate differently. They train to fight as a network first, platform second. For the Pakistan Air Force, that means investing not just in terminals and aircraft wiring, but in squadron-level tactics, joint command and control, and secure logistics for cryptographic material and software updates. When adversaries recognize that Pakistan's fighters can act together as a tighter, fast reacting system. The deterrent value of the air arm rises, even without changing fleet size. The battlefield of the future will reward those who see first, decide faster, and shoot with coordinated precision. Link 16 is a proven step in that direction. In short, connecting Pakistan's F-16s to Link 16 will not suddenly equalize every capability gap, but it will change the math of engagements. It converts standalone jets into nodes in a larger machine, shrinks reaction times, expands the effective battle space, and forces adversaries to fight an integrated picture rather than isolated blips on a radar screen. That is why this kind of tactical networking is often described as a force multiplier. Not the flashiest upgrade, but the upgrade that makes everything already in the fleet more deadly, survivable, and strategically credible.